What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We are here as uh, another shop episode, but it's not your typical shop episode as of yet because we're not working on Project Burt just yet. There's a uh, some things in the shop that need going over first that I cannot take anymore. The shop needs cleaning. Yes, it is a absolute disaster. Still have an unpacked from hunt camp, which was two weeks ago. Chaos from the summer project transmission, which wasn't transmission, is still here uh, since May 9th. Dirk, it's still here in my shop. We need to get it out now. We are still waiting on some part. Well, he has some parts. We broke the rear axle. What are you going to call them? These things, clips, that hold those in. I have a solution. These are a little loose, but they will fit in there and they will do its job. So I'm going to work on this. Not gonna show much of it, my time lapse and stuff, but this needs to get looked after real bad. So I'm gonna start working on that. And then I'm gonna work on that and get these axles back together and get working on that as well to get that out of here uh that's today's project and then hopefully if that all goes well we're back on project bert for tomorrow um get some welding done i need to go get some motor mounts and a cherry picker again to put the engine in big day give me a big day we got a lot to do this place is a disaster update on project razor safari uh, rear axle is ordered. I ordered two. I'm a little confused because the order now says one, even though it costs the price of two. I've emailed the company. They have not returned an email to say it does come with two. But yeah, this is how we kind of drove it out uh, last time. Just put the cups back in and drove like that for three days, relying on this axle and the four-wheel drive, which worked. Didn't let us down, again. This thing just uh, always amazes me, keeps going. So there's that as well. So I gotta get on that today, Let's see if he'll get back to me on uh, that is through Amazon as well. But I might go to a uh, UTV website and order them through there because I know they're the right ones and just get two of them and be done with that for that project because we have a ride coming up in a couple weeks and it seems to be taking that long to get here with the whole COVID everything's behind lot yada 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 so yeah clean shop I can't wait I'm so tired of looking at all this disaster and get it uh, organized and get some more space so we can really work on Project Burt in some freedom and not step over axles and ATV parts and stuff so we're going to time off some stuff and uh, get at it. It's a damn good fire. There's uh, multiple aerosol cans in there. Some waiting for some explosions to happen. That's hot. It's like burning me from here. But that's one way to get rid of some cardboard and some shop stuff. Holy. Woo. Oh, I can get rid of some stuff. Oh, there's some crackling now. <laughs> Something's gonna explode eventually. Thames, good fire. Burning right, burning hot. Well, it's another day. I uh, spent uh, like eight hours in here yesterday cleaning, and it's come along pretty good. I finally got that disastrous mess cleaned up. This all cleaned up. This all swept some air holes put away. Move the plasma cutter over here with the welder because we had this other shelf that was sitting around. So got that, or I was all under there. So got that organized. I'm gonna hang. I have an air reel. I'm gonna hang. And the ceiling plug it in up there by the, uh, sorry, over there, by the um, door. So you can just grab it and pull it everywhere. It's like, I think it's 40 feet or something. 
Got all this cleaned and uh, that all cleaned. And then here's actually looking kind of respectable. We never use the chops on anymore, so I put it down there. Uh, moved the white shelf that was over there because it was getting covered in crap and grinding. Moved it up here. Mixed up chop tires, cleaned all this up. Uh, this needs to be done yet. It's another day. Got all this area cleaned. Got the shelf from what was upstairs. Put it down here because I'll run with cleaning products. So I can put my six stands there and put a steel, those two jacks. Move the this over to have some more room. And uh, yeah, got this whole area cleaned up. Took a bunch of the Jeep stuff, hood and doors and tailgate, rear hatch, whatever you want to call it. Took it away. Other stuff's over there. Cleaned up all around there. Got all the kids. Toys over here that we're gonna have an auction or not an auction, uh, yard sale and uh, give away all that. So, yeah, this is quite it's looking good, it's looking a lot better. And I was came in to work on Dirk's bike and I'm missing a couple of pretty key parts. Can't put the clutch back on because missing three of the little screws that hold the back back plating on for the clutch are right here. Can't find those, I'm not sure where they are, and that's just fine because this seal is still broke it needs to be fixed so we can't do the clutch i was gonna do the rear end which you could do the shocks and some of the mounts but having a very hard time with these so i need to pull this boot back and put the balls in into that cage and get that into there and put the snap rings on while the balls are in place that's Probably gonna take two people or undo these clips, which will screw them. And I don't have more, which then defeats the purpose because I still can't put it back in. So, we're, I might work on a bit of that later. I'm not sure what I can do, to be honest. Tidy up the front end, put the winch back in and stuff. But for now, I'm gonna go to welding and get this welded up because it hasn't been done yet. And maybe uh, sling an axle underneath or something, see what it looks like. But that's what we're working on. Chops looking a lot better. I didn't time lapse all of it because that's really boring. Probably did enough as it is. So, but yeah, pretty happy. Got uh, like two big benches now we can we can work on. So, pretty minty. I might hang that later too. Oh, another thing I got. Um, this is a notcher for the for the uh, tube notcher for the drill. So this mounts to the table and you can do precision notching from when we start doing the frame or the uh, cage on this beauty but for now I'm gonna it's quite quite humid in here today but we'll uh, put the coveralls on and get the welder fired up and uh, start welding sort of welding to do so should be fun we are uh, we are welded up from the top side not too bad so Weld it up nice. All welded. Not bad. So I figured the best way to get up underneath and do a good job, take the uh, take the springs out, which reminds me, I don't have long long enough bolts anyways. To uh, so we sling the axles underneath. I have to take them back apart, put the right size bolts in. But that might be worth it anyway. See what it looks like with the axles in. But uh, anyways, we're gonna take out the front, obviously off, it's not too big of a deal, take the back off. Then I'm gonna take it off the jack stands and uh, rotate it upside down, or at least on its side. Probably upside down is the best way, but this thing's getting heavy, so Let's see what I can do there if I uh, just put it on its side or all the way over. But anyways, I don't like welding upside down. No one likes welding upside down, and they will never be as good um, just the, the nature of the beast of welding, if you weld upside down, you create a, when you're welding, you're creating a puddle. And when they're upside down, the puddle wants to come down instead of laying flat. Where you can see here, you can just go along and do a nice weave and weld it in. And then the sides, you, I start at the top and is on and off all the way down. But upside down, you have to go on and off too, but just it's never as nice. So, um, a real welder has no issue welding upside down. I, I, not a real welder. I'm not bad at it, but I'm gonna cheat. It's gonna cost me more work, but it'll be done right. And 
this suspension will never move like it's gonna be this is probably more than enough already um, but who knows where this project's gonna lead right if you ever get bigger axles or and go bigger maybe I'll sell it too I know going to go bigger so I'd rather have it done right so we're just gonna pop these off and flip it over and uh, weld up the bottom then it's that part's done and then uh, we'll see you get a flip back over and throw the axles in or I still need to get this uh, you take that drive shaft off and the front tie rod which wouldn't come off before I sling that in there but yeah not too shabby there probably took about 30 seconds on fat actually didn't take that long anyways we got her back on oh, excuse me oh Listen to a bit of Alls there. Anyways, we're back on its feet here, and uh, oh, she's all welded. I had one corner that I forgot to weld in the main frame, so I uh, found that, touched that up, and I got this one. Well, I was on upside down to get that one fully welded, and uh, yeah, so it's done. So minty, minty. She's uh, frame's done. Frame is frame is solid. She's welded. Done. Uh, I'm gonna throw the springs back in, and uh, maybe wrestle with the uh, axles. Well, progress has been made here. You can see uh, the axles are in. So in the back, the center hole. That's the guide. For the spring there's one top and bottom was a little off because those mounts are for the other axles so see i had to drill them out quite a bit bigger from the fit anyways there they fit and the front it's close the i don't know i can just show you in here right there the bolt i think is a little too big for the hole so i'm actually not sure what to do there i'm gonna leave it for now and uh that probably would snug up and never move but anyways either that i have to take it off and hone out the uh cat this cast piece that's on the axle i'm gonna see what uh what colt says about that because he's done this stuff kind of this kind of stuff before but uh look at the ride height so one over one under and what is that an inch off the ground inch and a half and this is an inch so we're uh i'm not gonna argue like that is yeah that's bang on like freaking a that's really minty because i never thought uh just my measurements you know you're kind of guessing i never thought it'd be that close but it looks pretty darn pretty darn good so it does it's pretty happy with that so i'd like to uh should almost <laughs> a little more work, but jack it up and put uh, tires on to see where the right height's gonna be because that's on the ground. Some 35s in there. That'll be it's gonna be huge. I was gonna leave the tires off. The reason I'm not putting tires on is because it's a lot easier to get the motor in when it's sitting this low. Is my basically kind of laziness, I guess. I guess, call it laziness. Yeah. That's minty. Can't wait to get the motor in. Motor and transmission, that's really gonna set this off. And then from there, it's only, you know, all the wiring, steering, drive shafts, check all the levels, and then uh, firewall, floor, and full full tube frame not not much really no 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 as no. and throw some tires on see what it looks like i might show that there it is little tonka truck comparison to my waist it's hard, it does not do just on the camera. I can see it in the camera and it doesn't look as tall as it is. Like it is, it is freaking tall. 
<laughs> it is huge. Little Tonka truck. Oh, it looks sick. It has a little Cali lean, but we'll see by the time we get this hanging out the front, which is like, I don't know, probably a thousand pounds, maybe. Get that on the front suspension, she might be perfectly level. But yeah, super excited, get a thumbnail. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. So another shop episode, hopefully it's not too long. I'll cut whatever out, but got the shop cleaned up, got this done, we gotta work on Dirk's bike next. If he uh, get the parts for that and get that out of here, open up the shop a lot and then put the motor in and I can have this, all this room back. So anyways, it's gonna do for this episode of Twisted Side by Side Shop Edition. Thanks for watching. We'll fucking see you later. Little bonus clip. Got that mounted up. And uh, it's definitely more than 50 feet because I had dragged it out. And it goes like way the heck over here. So, oh, it must be 50 feet. The shop's 48, so <clears throat> it pretty well go. Touch it probably would go off a straight line and go to the other side of the shop. It's freaking minty. That's sick. And it's a three with grounds. Plugged right in. It's sick. I can go anywhere in the shop without having 15 different cords. Anyways, I like it. I like it a lot. Because of all you people's. Bye. It turned on. They're recording. No. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. It was all of Gilly. you guys. No, no. The dog's and looking at it. Yeah, yeah oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not under his wings. No. So exactly.